Hey group 1, I'm Valerie here and today's bigger card reading is all about what would a tarot reader tell you about yourself and I'm going to be doing an ink blot reading today so I'm going to be prepare the I'm going to prepare the ink blot ink ink blot first uh, so if you don't want to watch this part of the reading and you want to jump right on to the actual reading just fast forward a few minutes and you will find the actual reading but I'm gonna get started with preparing the ink blot right now for you. All right, so let's have a look at your ink blot. Okay. All right. First of all, I'm saying that uh, you are you are somebody who has a very uh, you always carry a shell around with you okay it's it's like the metaphor the image i'm getting is that of an it's it's like this beetle i don't know what you call it but it looks like an armadillo but it's not an armadillo it's a it's a bug but i'm focused on the armored shell on top of it okay and it's brown in color because I intuitively picked brown and black for you. So just bear with me. I'm going to slowly, steadily tell you what I'm picking up. Okay. So I'm seeing this insect over here. And what I'm seeing primarily is that shell, the armored shell. But I'm also seeing that the shell is not as effective as the shells of certain creatures like say a tortoise or say a snail. So this armored shell is only a partial barrier from the world around you but the main energy is that of the bug you don't even realize this or maybe some of you do but you actually see yourself as somebody who's very insignificant that's why the insect is coming through a very tiny brown insect on top of that it's like brown is a camouflage color so not only do you want to not only do you think you are insignificant, but you are also going out of your way to hide yourself. Now, I'm picking up a lot of fears over here. You're really afraid of the world because whether you have experienced this in this lifetime or other lifetimes, you have seen a lot of bad stuff and you know how predatory people can be. And 
sometimes and if you feel powerless the best thing you can do is to hide yourself or camouflage yourself so that the predators do not see you and that is something that i'm seeing over here and and the problem with this thing this energy that i'm picking up is that this energy that i'm picking up of this insect you keep attracting people into your life who reinforce that and if there are people in your like if you come across anybody who tries to tell you that you have the potential for greatness or you have some you can develop your talents you can put yourself out there maybe people like me on the internet or maybe people in real life you tend to shy away from them or you tend to get really offended by them because you deep inside do not even realize that the reason why you're getting offended by it and triggered by it is because you do not want to put yourself out there at all because you're so scared of what will happen but in reality it's almost like you're folding in on yourself to protect yourself and because you're not investing any time or energy in developing talents that will put your put you out of the comfort zone because again it always goes down to those deep seated fears and you have experienced things in this life but you have primarily experienced it in many many lifetimes before this as well and that's why there's this deep seated fear of putting yourself out there especially from predatory people and because you do not want to really put yourself out there and you're not putting your getting out of your comfort zone i keep repeating it just bear with me a bit um you are becoming a very one dimensional individual like the insect because you yourself are not developing any skills because you're so scared that if you were to become talented and you were to you know because talent is not something that anyone is born with these are skills that you need to develop like you might have some natural skills in certain areas of life you might be like naturally talented at singing you might be naturally talented at playing the guitar or something but you still would have to put in a lot of practice to actually surpass just that you know simple natural thing whatever you have okay and i'm saying that you're turning into a person who's not only one dimensional and this might be very triggering for you to hear as well but i'll continue going for whoever wants to hear you're turning into a one dimensional character because you of these fears which are deep buried in your subconscious and you turn around and beat down anyone who tries to show themselves out as well because you don't realize that this is what you're doing but you might verbally attack people by being making snide comments or gossiping about them behind their back if they try to do something which you feel is awkward or like you know out of the ordinary or you know oh my god that is so weird you know you might gossip you might most of you verbally engage in these kind of pulling down somebody act okay you try to pull down other people but you do not even re- recognize that you're doing this because if someone were to point out this thing like i am doing right now you would be like no i i don't but but it does make sense i have done it but i i didn't have bad intentions it does not matter what your intentions were because these are subconscious things you probably thought you were not having bad intentions that you were just gossiping just to you know engage in some social activities but at the end of the day the subconscious this is what i'm seeing over here that you were trying to pull them down because you yourself are so scared of the world that if you see somebody shining and putting themselves out there it offends you because it makes you feel that like there's that buried thing deep inside there's this kernel that did not that you chose not to nurture because you're so scared of the world because of whatever experiences you've had you have not decided to become brave or courageous and step out of your comfort zone and develop that kernel of raw power and beauty and all of that extraordinariness inside of you now when i say extraordinariness it's a potential okay 
it's like a seed a seed is a potential a seed is not a tree but you can look at a seed and you can be like yeah it has the potential to be a tree but dreams are just dreams they're imaginary they are not real you have to put in the effort to actually turn a seed into a tree and that's the same thing you have that kernel inside of you but it is not actually a reality you are not extraordinary because you have not put in the effort to become extraordinary and this might be triggering for a lot of you again i'm going to continue speaking for whoever wants to hear this because the truth can set you free and if you don't want to hear it again it's up to you you're watching something on youtube you don't have to continue watching beyond this point it's up to you but i'm going to continue speaking so this kernel that you have inside of you that you have not nurtured you are you know deep inside subconsciously or unconsciously actually i shouldn't say subconsciously because this is very unconscious you know that you have the capacity for something extraordinary because of that kernel inside of you but because you're choosing to live like i don't i don't really want to say it but i'm keep seeing this insect with that armadillo type coating on top of it that shell i don't even know what you call that insect because it's like a primitive insect it's not like something that i that we see in our you know fields and other stuff it's it's like one of those fossil fossil uh, insects like um i don't know what you call them they're like kind of like this but it's like a fossil okay and that also tells me how old your soul is in the sense that you have lived many lifetimes and that's why you've gotten scared of the fact that life can be very brutal but again because you've not nurtured this kernel inside of you and the and i am going to tell you the truth that life is brutal and no shame on you for being victimized and if somebody comes around and tells you that oh life is brutal for everybody why are you not being able to do anything i i think that's a very callous approach because that does not take into account the effect of trauma and abuse and all sorts of rubbish and predatory stuff on the psyche it does not take into account how people engage with trauma and engage with these kind of things they shut down on themselves which is what i'm seeing over here and it's a very common symptom of what you've experienced so again no shame on you but nobody's coming to actually set you free that is also a reality so unfortunately if you don't choose to change something if you don't choose to nurture that kernel inside of you and again i'll repeat that thing that when people like me come and tell you these things it triggers you it makes you like who the fuck are you to say all of this stuff like uh, you don't know anything about my life and this happens to you in real life as well if you come across people who you come think are motivational or something you're like oh this person is woo woo they don't know what they're talking about they don't know how hard life is that is not true that is not true and you're just lying to yourself to not want to fo- you know face these things and again i'll keep speaking if anybody doesn't want to hear it it's youtube you can leave it's fine but whoever wants to continue listening because it is beneficial for them this is for you okay um so because you're not nurturing that kernel when you see somebody else choosing to nurture that kernel guess what happens you want to beat them down without even realizing that you want to beat them down because it makes you so insecure that somebody else is nurturing their kernel and they're becoming something extraordinary or they're starting to flower and shine while you are just staying like that brown bug that nobody can see that's like a wallflower stuff of that kind okay it makes you extremely insecure on the inside and you don't even realize that this is why you're doing this it can be very hard to hear these truths but if you don't face the truth uh, you you won't be able to make any change in your life so the first step is always to look at the truth it's like getting a diagnosis for cancer if you know you have a diagnosis for cancer then you can do something about it and i shouldn't use the word cancer because that's not a, a correct analogy this is nothing like cancer you can get out of this if you choose to it's going to be difficult and I, again i will also point out another thing if you were to choose to nurture that kernel inside of you the truth is other people who are just like you who are not choosing to do this either who are brown bugs like you they will start beating you down at that point people who you thought were your friends people who you thought were your partners and stuff who were always comfortable with you because you were never doing anything with your life to like you know make them feel insecure suddenly they'll start feeling insecure in your presence and they'll start wanting to beat you down they'll start wanting to verbally take you down they'll start wanting to behave badly with you and that is another thing that you've experienced in other lifetimes which is also why you shut down 
so again no shame on you because these are psychological impacts shame on the people who behave like this and you have also behaved like this so this is the truth i'm not going to i'm not going to sit over here and say that you're 100% a nice person if you have engaged in behavior of this kind you have torn down people you have gossiped about them behind their back or judged them because they were dressed they're dressing a little differently even though dressing a different way does not really kill anyone you know if they were choosing to do something different with the life that you did not choose for yourself again they're not harming anybody but you suddenly took offense that you know that they were choosing something different for themselves okay so this is the primary thing that i'm seeing over here it is going to take you a while to actually go from acknowledging this truth facing this truth to actually taking action <sighs> but how you can do that is probably a reading for another day because i did not ask that question i mainly asked about who you are right now and the present is what the present is like i said a seed is a seed is not a tree you can dream about a seed becoming a tree but that is imaginary unless you put in the effort a seed will always remain remain a seed so group 1 i'm going to end your reading at this point i hope you found this reading insightful if you did let me know what you think about it in the comments below and uh, subscribe to the channel if you have not already and uh, if you want to book a personal reading with me to gain more insights about anything else in your life or you know what can you do about the situation You will find the link to my booking page in the description box below, and uh, yeah, I guess that is all I have to say for now. Um, yeah. So, group one, I hope you have a great day ahead, and I will see you next time. Take care. Bye bye. Hey, group two, how are you doing? I'm Valeria, and today's bigger card reading is all about. what would a tarot reader tell you about yourself and i'm actually going to be doing an ink blot reading today so i'll start off by preparing your ink blot so if you do not want to watch this part of the reading just fast forward to where i actually start the reading okay all right let's get started
all right so here's your ink blot all right give me a minute to channel what i'm seeing i'm seeing that uh, most of you belong to a very uh, large family now if you do not belong to a large family this is talking about a friend circle that is quite large because i'm seeing a lot of people and even if you do not consider them like close to you or something i'm seeing a lot of people who are actually part of your circle like it could be because you are an influencer and you have a platform somewhere and you connect with a lot of people that way it could be because you are in university and even if you're not friends with them you interact with so many people on a regular basis that they're also coming through over here because you exchange ideas you talk about things you study together um, all of that is also coming through over here and what i'm seeing is that um, you have found your tribe now the people in this group are very different from each other there are overlaps but you all are bonded by uh, i don't know i can't really pinpoint what bonds each of you to the other but all of you actually agree that you like being a part of this community or whatever it is that you form together and it is more uh more in, like how do i describe this um for some of the people of this community this community means a lot because they themselves happen to be very empathic they are very loving people they are very emotional people but for others they it's a little lukewarm but they also like being part of this community and the interesting thing is all of this is coming through for a reading that is about yourself and this is telling me that your identity is very firmly tied to whatever community you identify with now this talks about nationality gender perhaps for some of you if you happen to be feminists it can talk about uh, if you have disabilities again you are part of a community if you uh, are an athlete again a part of a community if you happen to be say a scientist again a part of a community whatever this thing is you identify with something and that is a very important part of you and this is how you describe yourself this this is how you describe yourself and that's why this is coming through first that if i would tell you anything about you it will always start with the labels that you have chosen for yourself because you feel at home in these spaces whether it's with your actual family your chosen family or you know colleagues and other stuff okay or communities online you like being a part of these communities and working together towards uh, accomplishing common goals especially if you happen to be in the scientific fields like uh, say engineering or uh, medical sciences i'm specifically getting engineering though like a lot of engineer vibes are coming through here you like building things together coming up with solutions together problem solving together because and that is the interesting thing just because all of you are so different from each other but there are overlaps here and there that's why you all benefit from all of these different ideas and different inputs coming together in one spot to help whatever it is uh, that you're trying to create but of course just like any other community there are fights over here as well there are issues there are disagreements because not everybody is the same but at the end of the day um and i am seeing that of uh, some of the people who are watching this reading seem to be going through some uh, issues within the community because of these disagreements but i am seeing that at the end of the day if you were to resolve these disagreements because and they are important disagreements to think about because obviously you should not brush anything under the rug but for the most part all of you are very much on the same page about what you people want to accomplish and probably it'll take you a while to 
get to a common ground but this is something that is important for you okay okay i am seeing something though over here that uh if you identify as a, f a feminine individual you do not tend to act from the uh in ways that are stereotypically considered masculine like uh and vice versa if you consider yourself very masculine you tend to distance yourself from the things that are considered stereotypically feminine and i use the word stereotype very intentionally because these are stereotypes at the end of the day and what i'm seeing is that it's creating a divide inside your psyche where you're not able to merge different aspects of yourself because you are stereotyping it as masculine or feminine but in reality these kind of things don't have a gender you can't assign gender to something that is like <laughs> you know a talent or a skill set like confidence or you know um problem solving or the ability to communicate effectively or the ability to nurture somebody or the ability to uh be responsible these things how do you assign gender to something that does not have genitals and i came across a comment in my uh, in one of my videos very recently where one of the people was writing that masculine and feminine is not about gender it is about something i don't really remember exactly what they said but they are literally contradicting yourself do you even know the meaning of the word masculine and feminine please look it up on in the dictionary if you don't because it talks about something that is considered male like or female like and in the word itself you can hear the bias that when you consider something masculine you yourself are stereotyped to think about it that way and when you look at and when you think about language language is created by humans and the way we think so our perception our biases will be part of the language that we use as well and so that is something that is very important to remember because if you separate yourself from what you consider to be stereotypically belonging to the other side you are essentially cutting yourself off from things that literally have nothing to do with the other gender like say if you are feminine you consider yourself to be feminine but you don't want to take charge because you're like ah that'll make me very masculine or i don't want to go to the gym because then i'll become very i'll have bulging biceps and everyone will think that i look like a bodybuilder or something ah uh, these are very weird ways of looking at life because a lot of women who go to the gym do it to for the health to stay in shape athletes go to the gym every single day male female both you have people who are like um, who go to the gym who are learning martial arts whether they are in the military the army any other forces or whether they are like um it's their profession to be a martial arts instructor or a boxer or something like that so this mentality is really problematic and it immediately shows itself to be problematic when you start looking at things this way because immediately when i said that athletes go to the gym and you remember that there are female and male athletes both and then you start realizing that yes there is a fallacy in the way you are thinking that it's got nothing to do with the gender like working out has got nothing to do with gender uh taking care of children has nothing to do with gender in fact it's very problematic if you consider yourself so masculine that i can't take care of my children because that's a woman's job then you should not have even chosen to have sex with that woman and become the uh, father of her children because that is so irresponsible like your job does not end at donating one sperm and uh, just enjoying some you know sexy time with some person okay like that's not the definition of a father at the end of the day and so things of this kind that is something that is coming through very strongly over here that there is a very serious divide between these two aspects of yourself because you have become conditioned by the world by their biases that something is feminine something is masculine so if something does not go with my gender because everybody says so i'm not going to engage with that but it's essentially cutting you off from a whole world of possibilities and i've already described a lot of that okay all right so anyway group number 2 that is your reading for the day i hope you found this reading insightful if you did let me know what you think about it in the comments below and subscribe to the channel if you have not already 
and uh, if you want to book a personal reading with me you'll find the link to my booking page in the description box below as always so i'm gonna leave you here um and uh, hopefully i'll see you again someday and <laughs> i keep saying and anyway uh, take care of yourself bye bye Hey group 3, I'm Valeria and today's figure card reading is all about what would the tarot reader tell you about yourself. So this reading is actually going to be an ink blot reading. So I'm going to prepare your ink blot right now. So if you don't want to see that part, you just fast forward to the main reading and uh, I'll get started with the ink blot right now. All right, so let's have a look at your ink blot. It's a very pretty one. First of all, I'm seeing a seahorse. Two seahorses looking at each other. Now the seahorse represents a very nurturing, um, it's, it's a, a sim, symbol of nurturing for me at least because uh, I, I know very little about seahorses actually but um, it always gives me the energy of the king of cups. Um, the energy of a father who's a very good father and he knows how to take care of his children so that but i'm seeing two seahorses looking at each other and i'm actually seeing it like a mirror okay like this seahorse is looking at itself in the mirror and it's basically trying to figure something out it's not really saying anything but it, it wants to it's just looking at itself and subconsciously or consciously inside its mind and this seahorse represents you it's trying to figure something out but it doesn't know exactly what it is that it's looking for 
for the most part it's like the seahorse which is you is trying to see whether their appearance has an effect on their confidence like if i were to change this thing about my appearance does it make me more confident if i change this thing about the way i walk or the way i talk or the way i stand does it change the change anything about my confidence this is something that you might have actually done in real life or you don't even realize that this is what you do when you are picking up clothes or uh you might be very interested in learning about postures and body language and other stuff that makes you come across very confident so that it's easier for you to go about your business and when i say business it doesn't have to be like technically your business business but whatever it is that you're doing with ease because people tend to be more receptive towards people who are more confident and um they look a certain way and stuff but i'm seeing that you're trying to figure something out and you're not being able to pin, put a finger on it i'm i'm seeing that you have been watching a lot of tarot readings lately and some of the things that have been highlighted in these readings are making you question if the external cues are actually what confidence is all about if it's really about the way you look the shape of your eyebrows the color of your shoes the posture or is it something about the person on the inside and you're starting to wonder if you are were fo focusing on the wrong things but you're not able you are still looking because you're not you have not figured it out yet this is what a tarot reader that is me will tell you about yourself you're very interested in learning about the subconscious some of you might be psychologists you really love learning about the psychology uh, about the psyche and how things work about the subconscious and how the how different things in real life can have an impact on the psyche now i'm suddenly getting a weird feeling in my stomach because again this is a general reading on youtube so um i'll be picking up the energies of different different people okay so it's not one person i'm reading for i'm reading for many people over here so i'm picking up that some of you do this because you want to understand yourself you want to understand the world around you that's why you want to know about the subconscious and how the world has an effect on it and how certain things like for example social media it has that dopamine feedback loop effect on the brain because of which people get addicted to social media similar to any other addictive substance on the planet and you might be interested in that just to figure out what you should do with your life and what should what you should not and stuff of that kind but there are others of you I'm picking up their energy who actually want to learn about the psyche so that you can manipulate other people now i am going to be point blank you know who you are you can pretend that you don't know what i'm talking about Some of you are watching this reading actually do this because you want to manipulate people because it's so much easier to live in a world where everybody just falls into step and if I ask them to sit they'll sit if I ask them to stand they'll stand but I've not been able to figure out how I can make them do all of that stuff so I'm studying the psyche so that I can know what buttons to push buttons to push so that they'll do exactly as I say You know who you are It's a small percentage which i'm glad of because it shows that most of the people in the world are actually not psychopathic you know or narcissistic and they actually want to understand the world because it helps them understand themselves and helps them live life in a better way but then there are some people whose energies i'm picking up right now who do it for all sorts of nefarious nefarious purposes and people If you don't know that these type of people exist in the world, I I think you should start watching the news more or reading more articles because you are going to sooner or later come across some people of this kind and your naivety is going to get you get you in big trouble, all right? So that is also there. Anyway, um so that is something that is coming through but yeah, that was the 
I had to get that out of the way. But yeah, you are very interested in the psyche, understanding the psyche and how it works. Some of you might be in neurosciences. You might be studying neuro neurobiology and how different pathways, sorry, centers of the brain might have different effects on the. I'm not a neurobiologist. I don't know what I'm talking about over here. <laughs> you know what I. You know what you do. Anyway, I'll move on. Uh, but you're very interested in figuring this out because it makes life easier when you understand how things work and it feels like you're not walking around in the dark and just feeling things around and trying to shoot a dart and hoping that it'll hit the bullseye so it's a very good approach you are an observer at the heart of everything because again with you looking at the mirror and observing yourself you looking at the psyche trying to observe stuff you are an observer you like to learn things by observing and also not just observing you like to observe like a scientist does even if you are not a scientist in real life this is how your mind works where you observe things and try to question it and then you know like figure things out that way okay so it is a scientific method of learning as well so that is definitely there hmm. some of you are some of you probably stumbled upon pick a card readings for the first time today maybe one or two of you i don't know how many of you are there but like you are getting shocked by whatever you are hearing right now now i do want to point out something very important people always think that they are more special than most people in the world that there's something very very unique about them and the unique things definitely are there but for the most part most people around the world are very similar to each other so these kind of messages work because this is common for all the people who have chosen group number 3 and there are tons and tons of people out there in the world who are like this and maybe you're wondering okay then maybe if i were to watch group 1 and group 2's reading maybe that'll resonate with me as well i suggest you watch that watch those two readings because you like to observe and question things if you resonate with any of those readings again it is still telling you about yourself but if you picked your groups the way you were supposed to pick that is intuitively then this reading would be the one for you or any other group that stood out to you but the one that did not stand out that will not be for you like you can watch it but you will immediately know that it does not really fit your personality that is not who you are so this was a message that wanted to come through for those of you who have just stumbled upon pick a card readings and you're trying to figure out is this real how does this work even i don't know how this works but it does work it's like one of those situations where something exists in the world but nobody has found the way to answer those questions yet so i know that this works but like you know before newton came along gravity was still around but newton you needed somebody with the capacity to actually come up with the laws of motion and understand what gravity is all about and stuff okay but before that people knew that if you were to throw an apple up in the air it is going to come down but they didn't exactly know why that was happening okay so it's something of that kind so anyway a lot of you actually are very skeptical about uh, psychic stuff now i am picking up that you might call yourself skeptics but it is more like a bias because you were raised in environments that told you that this is all bullshit and and if you go by the scientific method anything that tells you that something is outright bullshit when you don't even know what you're talking about that is almost always going to turn out to be wrong and always almost always going to turn out to be a bias and that's the thing I don't want to keep harping on this thing but it is something that wanted to come through because a lot of you are watching group 3 right now are very curious about the workings of this thing like I can't really tell you the workings of this thing you can probably observe and <laughs> experience this amazing uh phenomenon but until somebody has the tools or the know how to figure it out probably the world will not know what this is all about 
um and again there was it was the same thing with a lot of these uh, neurological conditions as well like you know um with say epilepsy people used to think that they were possessed by demons but in reality it was epilepsy uh, or synesthesia people thought that the people with synesthesia were actually people with very strong imagination until people did brain scans and other stuff and found out that synesthesia is actually a real thing so stuff of that kind so anyway let's see if what else wants to come through over here it's a very beautiful ink blot and i i did not even say I, and i did not say this for group 1 and group 2 but this is something that is standing out very strongly so aesthetics might be something that is very important to you but you also come across as a very beautiful people person to other people but i am seeing that this has caused you a lot of pain in the past as well for because people have tried to objectify you because of your beauty or they literally do not even want to interact with you and your personality they only wanted to sleep with you or they wanted to get something out of you or wanted you as an arm candy something like that so there are those dark spots that i'm seeing over here and you try to stay away from those kind of things you you because and this is true for everybody but like you know you don't there's this heart in the center that is standing out to me you want people to see you for who you are on the inside your heart you don't want them to get confused by the external appearances and think that and objectify you and other stuff okay or sexualize you and other stuff hmm I'm seeing two hearts very star starkly over here. Um, some of you really want to find your soulmate. You probably have not found one yet, and you again skeptical about the whole destiny thing. Others of you who are watching group through three are not skeptical about the whole destiny thing. I don't agree with the destiny thing because I believe that you should use your critical thinking skills and. engage with a person and actually develop a relationship with them because otherwise you're just interacting with a stranger and a stranger can be just about anybody they can they can come across as amazing on the first few days or the first few weeks or the first few months and then you'll uh, found out that they are an abuser or some some problematic individual okay so i believe that i don't believe in this whole destiny concept because that tends to get people trapped in uh, love bombing situations and other stuff but i am saying that you are looking for somebody who's like a partner to you or a soulmate to you and most of you have not found that person yet and i'm saying that the main reason why you have not found that person yet is because you keep coming across people who are very shallow and when you yourself are this deep it's it's like a rare thing in the world and it's not because people are dumb but if you are raised in systems and cultures where nobody teaches you critical thinking because they don't want you to learn critical thinking you only have to watch some youtube videos about finance and stuff to you know know that a lot of rich people like for example robert kiyosaki the rich uh, the rich dad poor dad guy and he's not the only one who has told this thing but whenever these people try to share principles about money with the common people there'll be some rich person who'll come out of the woodwork and be like don't share it with them then they'll also know how to do it like us keep them poor stuff of this kind so the world is like even in schools you know they train you to become employees they don't train you to actually use your mind and choose a path for yourself or be an entrepreneur or know how to make money and stuff okay so people are not dumb it's just that they are raised in environments that absolutely go out of their way to make sure they are not intelligent and they don't know how to use their intelligence so that is a reality so unfortunately because of that people like you are the rare kind because i don't know how you develop this thing whether you were lucky enough to be raised in an environment that did train your critical thinking skills or you came across it yourself at a later date and you decided to do this yourself but you are one of the lucky ones because the world it's stacked against uh i mean the odds are stacked against 
this the development of this skill they don't want you to know how to think this deeply okay so because of that reason it's going to be very difficult to come up, find another person who's also like you because it's a rare breed but maybe if people start speaking about these things more like i am doing and so many other people are doing on on their platforms people start learning that way and the people who thought that they were dumb suddenly start realizing that they are not dumb at all they just did not have the tools to make intelligent decisions or see the world in a more intricate way and not in a shallow biased way but it takes time for those things to happen and it takes generations for those changes to happen as well so again at the heart of it all you do want to find a partner who is like you who can think this deeply and stuff but unfortunately the pool is saturated with people who are not like you so you are going to find it difficult to find somebody who is like you and so it is very important to not just settle for somebody with good looks or who you feel passionate towards because then you will end up in situations where again over and over again they'll keep objectifying you and at first you'll think that they are seeing you for who you are but then you'll realize that they're just as shallow as everybody else so i'm going to leave this reading at this point group 3 i hope you found this reading insightful if you did let me know what you think about it in the comments below and subscribe to the channel if you have not already and if you want to book a personal reading with me you'll find the link to my booking to my booking page in the description box below and uh, yeah that is pretty much it for now i hope you have a great day ahead and i will see you next time take care bye bye